LG Chem, they have a relationship with General Motors. They basically produce GM's battery packs in big factories in the US. But they've just revealed a new technology called single crystal cathodes that will increase the energy density of their battery packs by more than 10%. It's being mass produced right now, but LG Chem went and said, uh, you know what, 4680 cells for Tesla, they could just be a bigger priority for us than pouch cells for General Motors. Now, I don't know why that is, but that's what they're basically saying with this recent reveal, with this recent announcement. 4680 cells with a very, very high energy density should be available to Tesla from LG Chem very soon. As we now know, GM's Ultium, special super duper Ultium batteries, they're not really all that ultra or Ultium or they're just run of the mill pouch cell batteries. But maybe that will change. Now that LG Chem, their battery supplier, has revealed this new technology. Hello, my friends, welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Sam Evans on the Electric Viking, and it's great to be back. LG Chem has begun mass producing a single crystal high nickel cathode. Now, importantly, one of the big benefits of this battery, LG say, LG Chem, or us, I'm sorry, so LG Energy Solutions, as they like to be known these days, is that the batteries will be 30% more reliable. So that means they should be 10% reliable. I'm joking. They're great batteries. Maybe. For some people, they're good. No, no, I'm serious. I actually think they're pretty good now. Now, if you buy a new car in 2023 with LG Chem batteries, there's a good chance it will, it will last a long time. Previous years, not as much. Anyhow, the other thing is with these batteries, not only are they improving lifespan by 30%, but they're also improving capacity by 10%. And this is exactly what General Motors were talking about when they said, our batteries will actually improve energy density as we go on, and therefore the cost will come down. But the cost, unfortunately, for General Motors hasn't come down as much as they thought it would, which is why GM revealed that they won't be able to make a cost well, a car that they can make a profit on between thirty to forty thousand dollars until twenty thirty or twenty thirty five potentially. Hopefully that isn't correct. Now this new cathode from LG Chem, it is Korea's first ever mass production of single crystal high nickel cathodes for next generation batteries. There hasn't been a whole lot of talk about single crystal cathodes because while well, not that many companies are actually working on this technology as in mass production on the 26th of June, 2023 in South Korea. So the first batches of materials will be sent to global clients in July, apparently say inside EVs, which is great news. Hopefully they can make enough of them to actually put these cathodes into all of their batteries in all their cars worldwide, because this would just give you an instant 10% range improvement. Probably would actually, because you're not increasing the weight of the vehicle this doesn't change the weight at all. It just improves the energy density, which is fantastic. LG Chem say that a single crystal cathode is made from single particles of several metals, such as nickel, cobalt, and manganese. And they're essential for next-gen batteries as they boost the lifespan of the battery by more than 30% and increase the capacity by 10% or even more than that compared to what they currently use. That's massive. So I'm not really sure why they call them crystal. Single crystal doesn't appear to be anything to do with crystals here. It seems like just fancy marketing. That's probably why you haven't heard of crystal cathodes before. Well, you might have, but not, not many people have, I don't think, crystal cathodes because there aren't any crystals involved. Anticipating significant demand for the new cathode materials, LG Chem already plans expansion of the single crystal high nickel cathode production line to its Gumi plant, which is also in South Korea by 2027. That's a fair few years away. The total annual production capacity output would exceed 50,000 tons annually. I'm not exactly sure what that means in terms of batteries produced. LG Energy Solutions say that 
battery manufacturers are expected to mix the new single crystal particles, whatever that means, with conventional cathode materials starting from 20% content and gradually moving up to 100%. Now, I have no idea why they would only use 20% and gradually move to 100%. Is that because they're still testing them? That's a bit of a confusing statement. They said, in the initial phases, LG Chem will be mixing single crystal cathode materials to conventional cathode materials by a ratio of two to eight and gradually switch those containing 100% single crystals. Now, unfortunately, GM won't benefit initially, at least for probably a couple of years before, from these new cathodes. The reason being, they're actually for Tesla's 4680 cells. Yep. LG Chem have gone and said, uh, GM, you know, you matter, but not as much as Tesla. Basically, that's what they're saying here. So what we're going to do, they're saying, is we'll provide these cathodes for 4680 cells, the clients like Tesla. And at some point in the future, maybe a couple of years down the line, we'll actually make these cathodes for General Motors pouch cells. So GM, unfortunately, you won't benefit from these for at least a couple of years, is what it sounds like. LG Chem will also expand the application of these cathode materials to next generation batteries such as 4680 cylindrical cells with external dimensions of 46 millimeters in diameter and 80 millimeters in height from existing pouch type batteries. MCO Shin Hak Chol said, we believe single crystal high nickel cathodes are a game changing innovation in the future battery material market and also the key to solving our customers pain points. LG Chem will lead the market with advanced battery material technology and diversified product portfolios to become the largest integrated battery materials provider in the world. That is not going to happen. Sorry, LG Chem, that's just complete nonsense. CHL are way too far ahead for that to happen. But who knows? I mean, you never know. It could happen, I guess. This is really interesting because what it means is that basically LG Chem's new 4680 batteries could have a higher energy density than Tesla's 4680 batteries. Now, obviously those batteries will go to Tesla, so it won't really matter. But my question is here, will Tesla use these cells in the new Cybertruck? That would potentially give them an even greater range and provide Tesla possibly with the ability to provide a Cybertruck with the promised holy grail of 500 miles of range. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching.